All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Villains Den. I'm your host, Chris Haskell. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> Here with me, as always, is Noah Tompkins. What up, y'all? Kali Sardar Damari. And uh, our newest member of the team, Alexis. What? Say hello, hello, Alexis. Oh, hello there. Uh, Alexis is also going to be our musical guest today. Uh, and today we are filming and recording uh, semi-live, semi-live, uh, from our new studio here in Assembly Row at Vox Pop. Uh, we got some air conditioning here. It's a great studio. Uh, you guys prefer this the old one, right? It's, yes. I believe, 37 times larger. 37 times larger. <laughs> Did you do the measurements? The volume. I, the, I measured the volume in this room. I. Eyeballed it. It's definitely 37. <laughs> okay, all right. 37. Right. felt it. He so, felt yeah, so it's a pretty soul. accurate measurement. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, dude, so I'm excited to be uh, recording from this studio here. Uh, we are normally cooped up. For those of you who are uh, normal listeners and uh, watch the show, we're normally cooped up in a small studio on the other side of uh, Somerville. But today we got this nice big space. And this oh, is yeah. going to be the first of many recordings we're going to be do here, doing here, as well as the recordings for the podcast. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So making it's gonna be moves. a good time. What'd make, you say? Making moves, Chris. Making moves, dude. Making moves, dude, dude, can you catch? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sweet. Wanna have a cat? Wanna have a cat a catch or a, a catch? catch? A catch? A catch. Have a catch. Isn't that how how that's the, like the phrase of throwing a ball? It's not like let's go catch, it's have a catch. Like you play catch with your dad. Yeah, yeah, like when you have a yeah. In that scenario, I guess you're you're his dad in this scenario, in the studio dad. I'm everyone's I'm dad. I'm the studio right? mom in this scenario, right? Really? Right. I, like the second, I, 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 the second I, oldest. Actually, so yeah, I would have to say if there was if, this, if we were like a family, the show were a family. I'm definitely the dad. And he's the, the mom. Stranger, I would be the mom. You're the uh, you're the Australian. redheaded stepchild. When did I get adopted wow. in? Yeah, I don't Do I have red like, uh, <laughs> And the kid that always comes into the Maybe. kitchen is like eating sandwiches. Yeah, you're you're like his his friend that basically like eats us out of house. <laughs> so you got okay, so in this situation you and Kali are married. Yeah. Okay. What kind of house do you have? Uh the Vox Pop house. Okay. How big is my bedroom? I... Can I get your bedroom? Can I get the master bedroom? Can I get the suite? Should I get the bedroom sure. with the bathroom? Sure, you can have it. Why not? In there? Alexis, you've been on the show uh, a few times already. This is now the third. When, oh, I was going to say four. Time. I thought it was four. But it You're close. Third. You're real close. Third time's a charm. Third, third time's a charm, third and, and I get charm. to be in this studio on the third try, so apparently I did something right, y'all. Isn't it awesome? This is good. Yeah. This is it's feeling real nice. So now we've, uh, I, I've been doing the show for three years now. Uh, Kali's been with me for a little over a year. Noah's, uh, Noah, you've been with us for the better part of a year, right? You're brand new. Brand new. So we've had a lot of fun experiences doing the show. Yeah. Uh, we've had some great bands. You've been one of them. And uh, we liked you so much, we decided to keep you. Uh, you've been, I've been adopted. <laughs> I love the well-timed snap there. Uh, but Alexis, uh, you know, tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and your music and uh, some, of, uh, some of your fun stories from performing in the area. Fun stories from performing. Um, I moved up here from Georgia. I've been up in Boston for like four years. Usually when people ask me how I got here, I respond with, I was drafted. Literally, my mom packed up the U-Haul the minute I crossed the stage. and was like, so we're moving. And I was like, but about that, it's cold. I do not want to be up there. But so you don't like these New England weathers? It's just the winter. Like, it's May. It's like the second or third week in May and I'm literally about to pull back out a winter jacket. It makes no sense. I had a client tell me the other day that they were driving back down and they actually saw snow. That's not right. It's not right to have snow in May. Yeah, well, winter last year in New England until like early June. That's You're not out of the woods until true. early June. Yeah, never. But it, what happened to spring? <laughs> where is where is spring at? It already, we, it's, it's already quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you'll miss it. It's gone. <laughs> Back to winter, and then June, like second, will come. It'll be ninety degrees. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Ready for all right. So, uh, Alexis, you uh, you have been performing for uh, last several years, right? Yes. Awesome. Now, and you just perform solo. You don't perform with a band. No, but recently I've been playing with my friend Jake Jarvis, which 
I think all of you somewhat know. Yeah, we've He's had been Jake on, on the, the show, show before. Times, yeah. yeah, we were out in Harvard Square on the day of Porch Fest. We weren't like at a porch, but we were just like kicking it in the square by Felipe's. Yeah. And we were like doing music, and it was nice. There was a bunch of people that came up. They were talking to us. It was just like an awesome vibe. They're like cute little kids dancing around. We were like, if we can do this every Saturday, we would love to. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a little bummed I miss Porch Fest. <laughs> Porch Fest is one of my favorite times of year. It's a good time. So, yeah, there's just so much, I mean, there's so much great music here in the city. Uh, Summerall really has like a great community of young artists, young musicians, and it's like basically like a huge block party every year for Summerall Porch Fest. Everybody's walking around, mm-hmm. smoking a J, having a beer, you know, hanging out. Yeah. It, you know, people are inviting you to random barbecues, you know, all of a sudden someone's sticking a hot dog in your hand, you got a beer, listen to some good tunes. It's a good time. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure i've heard this multiple places <laughs> don't quote me although this is now on the record right and visually on the record as least mouth i believe somerville per capita has the most amount of musicians you are correct sir place. thanks for validating it so <laughs> I was like, it may have been from i just snapped i'm a little afraid of people there. snapping i know that's what i've seen since like i've seen the avengers movie yeah. somebody's <laughs> like that's too <laughs> They expected somebody to just like start to disintegrate, <laughs> fade away. Mr. Stark, no. <laughs> oh, don't ruin the movie for people. You gotta say spoilers before. Uh, oh, she was talking about the first movie. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to go. Wink, wink. I don't, don't want to go. go. Okay, you're making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> you're making yeah, yeah, yeah. it worse. So now, we, we, speaking of uh, speaking of Avengers, we've all seen Avengers. Oh, yes. Yeah. The lift, it's the, it's been lifted. You're allowed to talk about it. I'm allowed to talk about it. I was going to say, it's been like, like, like two weeks after the movie comes out, you're allowed to talk about yeah. it. I, I saw it twice. I saw it before you guys saw it. You did, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'll be honest. I didn't like it the first time. What? I didn't like it the first time I saw it because I could not get over the Thor thing. I was really <laughs> annoyed. I was like, they built Thor up to be this cool guy. But then I started to realize, like, no, that creates a whole new story arc for him. Like, now he's it, not just a yeah. dumb, like super powerful character. Now. Yeah, he's yeah, I, like I, I think next. it's cool now. But then I saw it again, and my expectations were a little lower, and I was like, oh, that movie was great. Yeah. So you were just the whole th- Thor thing bummed me out. The Thor thing really was like... You should have heard oh, him in the theater man. every time Thor came speaking on. Of, like, so, oh. Speaking of Thor, <laughs> by the way, I'm trying to get my wife to name our baby Thor. I don't know that's going to happen. Swear to God, dude. I'm you like... Are? I mean, we're already it's call- an so awesome We don't have a name yet, but we are it's officially awesome calling name. the baby Baby Thor. Anytime we have to refer to the baby. It's Baby Thor, you know? Oh, I felt Baby Thor a kick, you know? I, uh, baby I Thor's hungry. Don't name your child Thor. Thor. What? Oh, it's a great name. That's an awesome name, dude. God of Thunder, man. He has to live up to... You can call him Thor. You can, like, give him a little nickname, like, hey, what's up, Thor? What's up? But you can't just name him on a legal document. You're 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 going to have your son on a legal document. His name yeah. is Thor. Thor. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Alexis, we're, uh, we're excited to have you here uh, performing for us uh, for the first time in our new studio. I get to christen it. Yeah, you get to christen it or christen it. Christen it. Christen it, like when they, <laughs> like when they break the bottle over. Uh, yes. Over shit. This just in. Chris is christen it every day. I'm, I'm christen it every oh, day. No. I'm, christen it. <laughs> I'm christen it every day. Baby. Every day. That was a, That was good. That was well timed humor by Kali Sutter and Amari, folks. I appreciate it. So, now, uh, Alexis, uh, you uh, you've been on the show two or three times oh. before. Uh, and but we've never performed in this studio, as you said. You're going to be christening it. Mm-hmm. You got mm-hmm. something special you're going to perform for us tonight. I have a song that I haven't played on the show before. Really? I have two songs I haven't played on the show before. Oh, nice, nice. Well, we're looking so forward we'll to pull hearing them out. Them. So, uh, but in the meantime, you mentioned uh, you're you're performing with Jake Jarvis. Yes. You got some uh, shows coming up. So we're trying to plan for some shows coming up. We've just actually been on Canva, the app, just like making business cards and like flyers and stuff to just like stick everywhere. We're like really happy about tagging stuff. Yeah. I that actually might not be legal to just like tag a bunch of signs. Don't quote me on the fact that I just said we're tagging a bunch of signs. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna move on from that. Yeah. But uh, we want to do Porch Fest next year. We're working on being able to do like so far Boston and like a lot of local local open mics together because we don't usually perform together. We're just in the same space. So doing a lot of practicing for that. What instruments do you guys play? So I play guitar. He 
we're just going to be two guitars and okay. two voices unless I can magically pull out some bass. We're working on it, but not yet. Two combo. Two combo. Two combo? Two no, combo. Like, what's the combo? Oh, two combo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Two combo. Like, two combo. Like, what's we, can, combo? <laughs> we can make that our Two name. combo could be the band name. Yeah, two it'll combo? be the band name. Two combo. Two combo. Yeah. I thought two combos, like, maybe your hair color that you got in there. I mean, he does have pink hair right now. I just, like, updated yeah, his right. pink hair. So we could be two combo people with pink hair. This could be the Rainbow Connection. Yo. Oh, that's pretty slow. Dope. That'd dope. be dope. That'd be dope. I'm writing these down mentally so that we can go into a room, me and him, and, like, decide band names. <laughs> and if it that's just so happens. Part. It's going to take you the hardest part. Just to make sure I know what band name. <laughs> Every show that we play just goes under a different name until we find the one That's that a fits. horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, you do something along the lines of, of like uh, put a disclaimer like tonight's band is and then a colon and then that's the name of your band and then you pick a new band name every time. Uh, be that fine. could actually yeah, be. but people are gonna want to Google you and then they're gonna find. Good luck with band names. Band names are the hardest part, I think. Yeah. You know, it'll just, be cool. Can you just be miscellaneous so that if you change our band name, <laughs> it just falls under miscellaneous category? Did you call it first of all? I think it's miscellaneous. miscellaneous. Not Wait, miscellaneous? miscellaneous? Did you have yeah. that thought for? I've been saying it miscellaneous for the past 21 years. It, it has a C in it, right? <laughs> it does. It does have a C in it. It's a silent C. <laughs> yeah, but have you had conversations with people? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I say miscellaneous all the time. Wow. Miscellaneous right. would be a good band name as well. That would be a pretty good band <laughs> right. name, right? It's like a one, like a one chick band, Miss. Miscellaneous. Right, exactly. But you yeah. spell it like the, you know, M-I. like, M- M- or I guess you can, M-I-S-S, and then mm, dot. dot. Or... Isn't it just M? What's the what's the shorthand for Miss? Just, MS. MS. Yeah, it's just MS dot, right? Yeah. Could just do that. I bet that's happened actually. I'm, as I'm thinking of it, it sounds like it's too easy to not be a band name. I was very Let's quickly about to it. like pick up Google, and I was like, "Don't pick up phone." Don't That'd be a great band name. Well, instead of picking up your phone, how would you like to pick up your guitar? Oh, oh and, uh, nice play some songs. I can't. Oh, nice. Do I have to? We uh, are we, are we, are we gonna cut? Sure. Okay, I guess we're done. All right, guys. My name is Alexis. You can find me on all Spotify, iTunes, and Apple things under Aldra. And this is a song called "Can't Take It." Bring me out to dry Throw me to the wolves Oh, you know you love when you see me cry It gives you your favorite looks Oh, you love when I hurt It brings you happiness So oh, you're a collector of broken smiles With the words on your lips Oh, it's on hold on my shoulder and I feel quite a bit older cause oh I can't take it oh I won't take it oh, oh, oh. and my thoughts are colder I just want it to be over cause oh I can't take it oh I won't take it oh my heart can't take it oh, oh please take it away Can't you leave me be? I don't want nothing cause it leads me to this graveyard hole. Would people welcome me? 
Can't you make it stop before it ruins me? I don't even recognize myself. What is that left of me? Oh, it's a world on my shoulder and I feel quite a bit older cause oh i can't take it oh i won't take it oh, oh, oh. and my thoughts are colder i just want it to be over cause oh i can't take it oh i won't take it oh my heart can't take it oh, oh please take it away Oh, I can't take it. Oh, I won't take it. Oh, my heart can't take it. Oh, it won't take it. Oh, my love can't take it. Oh, it won't take it. Oh, I can't take it. Oh, it won't take it. Oh, I can't take it. Oh, it won't take it. Oh, my heart can't take it. Oh, it won't take it. Oh, my love can't take it. Oh, it won't take it. Oh, 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 oh. It's a world on my shoulder and I feel quite a bit older cause Oh, I can't take it, oh, I won't take it, oh, oh, oh. And my thoughts are colder, I just want it to be over cause Oh, I can't take it, oh, I won't take it, oh, my heart can't take it, oh, it won't take it, oh, my love can't take it, oh, oh please take it away. Thank you, guys.